So now I've kind of broken down, you know, the needles in two categories for you. I broke down the sutures in two categories for you. And we talked about the different types of common sutures that you will see of monofilament versus multifilament, absorbable versus non-absorbable. Now I wanna take you down a road of just kind of crazy sutures, sutures that you don't see in every case. And you'll see it more so in, in specific cases and specific specialties. Now the first crazy type of suture I want to share with you guys are these guys right here, the Quill and the Stratafix. These are interesting sutures and you can kind of see from the picture here on, on the side of the box of the Quill that the suture itself has these cutouts. That it's, it's, a mul it's a monofilament suture but it has these little cuts, these little barbs and all of those barbs go in one way and what's interesting about this is that it, 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 the surgeon that's using this, it enables them to not have to tie a knot. So as they're putting that suture in, all they have to do is pass the needle through, pass the needle through, pass the needle through. They're doing like a running skin stitch. And as they're pulling that suture, the skin is closing up behind them. They'll pull and tug on the suture and those barbs make it so the suture can't retract back through the, uh, through the holes that the needle goes through. It's an interesting suture. Uh, I don't see it used very often in any other specialties other than ortho, but uh, it's a pretty interesting suture. Next suture I wanna to talk to you guys about is one that's used in robotic surgery a lot, and that is the V-lock suture. Now what's interesting about this suture is that it is very similar to the Quill and Stratafix in that it is a barb suture, but the main difference is that the end of the suture has a loop built into it. So the surgeon can actually throw like a, a cow hitch knot uh, as, as his first throw and then continue on and, and sew up the rest of you know whatever they're working on and the barbs will keep that suture in place. Uh, it comes in like a six inch length, nine inch, 12 inch lengths. These lengths are so short because you're using it laparoscopically you're using it in the robot so obviously it's going to be really really hard for the su surgeon to maneuver a huge long 30 inch suture inside the belly when he's when he's just using the robotic arms so they have these pre-cut and have the loop at the end of them at, at these specific sizes another important thing to note about the v-lock are when you're looking at the packages you'll notice like a number like a 90 or 180 um, those numbers indicate how many days it takes for it to be absorbed by the body, interestingly enough. And I thought that was pretty, pretty cool how they, how they put that on the packaging. It's a pretty cool suture to see, uh, to see used in the robot. Next crazy suture is this, surgical steel. Can you hear it? This is actually little steel, uh, steel bands that they'll use for uh, closing up the sternum. Uh, sometimes they use these as well. These are these are cables. This is like a this is like a multi-filament of steel bands. Um, yeah, you'll only see that used in the heart room, closing up that sternum, twisting the wires, or using a Pioneer cable system. Crazy though. Next one is this one. This is it says Polyzorb on it because it's a it's an absorbable suture. But uh, what's interesting is if you look at the needle right here, that's the actual size of the needle. It's just like a straight little needle. And this is actually used in a device called the endo stitch. And the endo stitch is used in laparoscopic cases. It's, it's a long device, but at the end of it, the tips kind of come apart like this, and you can load the suture into one side of the tip. So, this, so the surgeon can come over to the tissue, pass the needle through one end, and, and transfer the needle over to the bottom and take it out. Transfer it back up, come through, transfer it down, so on and so forth. What this was used all the time was GYN. You know, when they do uh, uh, an LAVH, uh, lap assisted vaginal hysterectomy, and so, something like that, to close that vaginal cuff. 
Nowadays, a lot of the surgeons that come here are doing robotic, so they're using V-locks and they're not really using the endo stitch anymore. But if your hospital still does a lot of laparoscopic uh, cases and not robotics, this is something that you'll see used to close that vaginal cuff.